Hello, it's Sparks here, and welcome back to the brand new video, and today is the finale of Pac-Man World 2. Last time we entered into the spooky bayou, and now we are trying to escape the bayou before Pac-Man's turned into a yucky, disgusting skeleton. Thus far, all we've been doing is going into fenced areas and navigating and hitting switches. Which seems to be the path we need to go. Let's see what does that unlock. Pack that trail? Yes it does, and it leads immediately to the checkpoint, meaning that's the correct path. You can't go wrong with pack dot trails. Okay, I just gotta make this big jump again. These jumps make me very nervous. I just barely made that one. And big jump. There we go, perfect. Now which path to go? Do we follow the fruit? Okay, let's try following this path first. Okay, that's a dead end. So then I should try the other way. Wait, did the entire layout change or I'm just imagining things? So I think the rocks might have shifted or something. There we go, watch out. Get the fruit. Well, we definitely need to hit that switch next. But where's the switch that activates that switch? Excuse me, Mr. Skeleton. For what I remember, I need to follow the fence. And this area is kind of fenced off. Jump. Jump and jump. See what does this activate? Pack dot trail that leads to a fenced area. That works. That tells me this is the right path. Remember, you gotta follow the fence. And now we hit the blue switch. Where is the blue switch? It's over here, right? Oh no, now I'm lost. I'm close to the area I need to be to. At least I'm assuming so. Well, that looks like the exit right there. Maybe if I keep following this path, I'll figure it out. Then jump here, and then jump here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. I was about to get lost. Whoa, Pac-Man. Don't miss the trail. And then jump here, and hit the button. Yet another switch to hit. How am I supposed to get over there? Okay, first I'm gonna go for the checkpoints. Uh, it looks like I can't reach it. Okay, let's just head backwards. Try to hit the next switch. This is fun. There it is. I'll be back. Alrighty, we are back. Whew. I could probably make this jump. Yep, no problem. And yeah, now we must go over there. Okay, but where was that? Over here, maybe? I can't honestly remember where the cutscene was telling us to go. All I remember is that there were a couple platforms you jump on, and there was a light that led straight to the checkpoint. So that's definitely the path we need to take. Now to find it. Okay, this is definitely not it. Let's 
Okay, let's try going backwards to the boardwalk. Oops, I fell in. Oh, great. After we do this entire section, I'll meet you there. Alright, we are back. And hopefully I can figure this out. Okay, so it's over here. Okay, it's over by the boardwalk. Okay, now I know exactly where to go. We just need to take this path and follow the path dots. See, I'm not trusting the path dots, and that's why I keep failing. I knew there was something wrong with me. Go. See, there's the area we need to go to. Right across these logs. Boom. But I want that name to open. Thank you very much, team. And now we're over in this section. Where there are tons of extra lives. Interesting. Get out of here, Skelly Bone. Oh, and another pack dot trail. Should I follow it? Oh, this is the end of the stage, isn't it? Pac-Man! You defeated my maze! It seems I have no match for you. The flames grow weak. Spooky. My tree! Pac-Man, what have you done? How could you defeat... How could you have defeated the heart of Ghost Island? All a pack land will pay. Your precious tree will be nothing but broken branches when I'm done with it. Okay, so where are we supposed to go next? Inside the tree? Oh, there's a level complete area. My bad. Yes, I'd love to save. And now that we've done Ghost Bayou, it's time to go back to Pack Land because we gotta defeat Spooky. Oh, the gold of fruit are doing something to Pac-Man. Watch out, it's golden Pac-Man. Oh no, now we're floating into the sky. Pac-Man, your golden fruit can't save you now. Nobody can break through my iron concentration. Now taste the might of my meteor shower. So now we're golden, Pac-Man. Oh, do not fly into a tornado. Got it. Pac-Man, yada yada yada. You get it. Okay, so how do we defeat this boss? I have no idea. Okay. Okay, you created a caveman. Okay, now you're making it rain meteors. No, rev rolling into that did not work. Okay, now you're creating a spider. I know that going in tornado doesn't work. I can't just easily bounce on him. Hmm. Maybe I need to use the tree. No, that doesn't seem to work. Now you're firing green orb.
Oops. Okay, let's see. No obvious points of hitting. Or maybe we just kick him. That might be it. We forget to get closer to the ground. Yes, you do. You just kick spooky. Okay, that's easy. Ouch, that hurt. Get to the ground. Thank you very much. Destroy the spider. The spider will end me if I don't. Seriously? That's just ridiculous. Summon a lanky so I can destroy you. What did you summon? A fire dog? Easy. Okay, watch out for the smoke. There we go. Yes, the meteor shower was apparently not enough. These fireballs will finish you off. Well, I still have 11 lives, so I have a tons of chances. Spooky. I wouldn't want to mess with Pac-Man right now. Okay, just summon your enemy, please. Yes, perfect. Oh, it's just another spider. Spiders aren't too much of a threat, but might as well destroy it. Watch out for those fireballs. Oh, you can summon multiple enemies? Oh, oh, I just got spammed with fireballs. I need to be more careful. Spooky's too powerful. Not even the almighty golden Pac-Man can stop him. There we go, perfect. Boom. Oh my goodness, do not get caught in those fireballs. You can get stuck in an endless loop. See, now Spooky's actually a threat. Oh, going. Okay, just summon the lackey, please. That's all I need. Curry, hurry, hit Spooky before they shoot too many fireballs and I get destroyed. Okay, good. Oh, whoa, 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 the fire's chasing me now. This is crazy. Come on. Please give me a hop wedge. Thank you, Skeleton. You're actually useful now. Ah, oh, that was not a good idea. I'm being chased by a fire. Okay, watch out for the mini fire. Uh-oh. Say goodbye. Wow, this boss is hard. But at least I can actually do it. That last boss was evil. Not to say the spooky isn't evil. Clearly they are, but I mean evil as in evil. I'm sure you understand what I mean. Okay, I need that health wedge desperately. Come on, Spooky, just summon a lackey so I can destroy you. Great. I'm destroyed. It's supposed to happen the other way around, Spooky. Jeez. Okay, I actually need to make an active effort to dodge. That might actually help. Where did you go? Watch out for the fireballs. I was trying to boost into... I was trying to lean into them. 
That didn't work. Okay, maybe we might get a game over. I said I'd be unfortunate. How much? Come on, Spooky. Just let me hit you. You fire the fireballs too fast. How many fireballs do you need? This is starting to get ridiculous. Jeez. Okay, I gotta hit them before they start firing the fireballs and actually dodge the projectiles. That would help a lot. You're that kind of boss, aren't you? There we go. Just barely managed to get that hit in. Okay, and the purple one fired right next to you. I don't know how to dodge the purple one. Maybe you need to do a bounce. Uh oh. Nope, you're firing the fireball. This is the end of Pac Man. It's the end. Okay, come on, Spooky, you can do this. Why can't you be a friendly ghost, like Casper? Casper's a friendly ghost, why can't you be a friendly ghost? What did the people of Pac-Land do to you? Aside from destroying your tree. That was Pac-Man's fault. Can't take it out all in pack land. You've got to be fair to the masses. Okay, now you're finding the red one. The red one's actually easier to dodge than the purple one, believe it or not. Okay, I need to make sure I'm looping in too That way I can hit him. If I be staying to the tornado. I should have known. It was all a trick. Okay, let's try this again. No, please, Spooky, don't do this to me. There we go. Boom. That's another golden fruit collected. I mean, what? Another hit in the bag. We already collected all the golden fruit. That's why Pac-Man is golden right now. Gotta hit him before he does the fireball. This is ridiculous. Well, I'll meet you back where we are at the right part. Alright, we are back into the boss. We're at the part where you fire it's the red thing. So let's go ahead and dodge the red thing. You summon a lion. Hey, hurry, hurry, no, I was too slow. Oh, you can actually get out of the fireball phase. Good to know. If you do a bunch of bounces, it's possible to get out of the fireball phase. Come on. Yes, let's go. Let's go spooky. Okay, I need a break. Alright, we are back and I'm ready to fight this intense boss fight. Okay, fire the red one, please. Oh, you didn't? Enough! You'll never defeat me if you're in the days. Say goodbye to Pac-Man, Pac-Man.
What do you mean in a daze? Oh no. The controls have been reversed. That's evil. Enough. You'll never defeat me if you're in a daze. I beg to defer. Oh, I didn't even know you can go back on dialogue. Good. Okay. I'm not in a daze yet, but as soon as I am. Find too much fire. There we go. That's another hit in the bag. The purple. No, purple got me. Okay, goodbye to Pac-Man. Man, you're fighting way too much stuff at me. Alright, that's another hit down. Need another break. I need some water. Okay, I am back. Let's see if I can actually defeat this boss. Maybe at the butt bounce every time you fire the projectile. No, you cannot fire any fireballs. Oh, why a Revram? Those things are so annoying. There we go, watch out for the fire! You're very close. You're too close. Yes! We defeated the boss! Ooh, that was intense. Woo, everything's happening again. What, no credits? There's the credits. Well, this game was so much fun. Too bad it's over.
Well, I did say I was going to shut off the arcade. So let's go ahead and show that off real quick. So to get to the arcade, first you need to head to the first area, slash hub area, pack world. Oh, you can see all the golden fruit there. Nice. So over here we head into the arcade. I don't know how many tokens we have. Pac-Man, my name is Sue and I usually hear running the arcade. You can play these games by collecting tokens around th throughout Pac-Man. Let me tell you a little bit about each of the games in the arcade. Pac-Man was first released in the arcade in 1980. You'll need 10 tokens to play Pac-Man. Pac-Attack was first released for consoles in 1993. You'll need 30 tokens to play Pac-Attack. You can play different music selections for the game here. You also need 60 tokens to play the jukebox. Pac-Man was first released in the arcade in 1988. You'll need 100 tokens. This Pac-Man was released in arcade in 1981. You need 180 tokens to play this Pac-Man. Play the Pac-Man World 2 mazes here after you complete them in the game. However, I have already unlocked the first maze just for you. Okay, so it looks like we can't even show off the games I wanted to show off because we don't have enough tokens. Okay, here's Pack Attack. A for one player game, two for two player game. This game is kind of like... Oh yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's a puzzle game. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this one. See, so line up all the ghosts. And then you have Pac-Man eat them. It's pretty simple, it's pack attack. There we go, we got two right there. So we can get a lot of ghosts right here if I play it, play it right. There we go. Okay, I want to rotate it so that pack man is facing here. Excellent. WD right here, and as you can see, pack man is charged up. We can activate Pac-Man and get a whole load of ghosts. So that's Pack Attack. I need 55 more tokens for that. I know everyone's played the original Pac-Man, so no need to show that off. And I do remember there was a secret game, but I don't know how to work for our 100 percent in the game, but we don't have that unlocked, so. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next series we're doing. Which I have no idea what it will be, but it's going to be another game from the GameCube era. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.